she became my motivation every single day when I woke up, just seeing her face, seeing her happy, and knowing that I was providing for her. And just in time for Mother's Day, we have a mother-daughter story of love, tears, mm -hmm. determination, and really a very special college graduation. You know, even mom admits it all sounds a yeah. little crazy, but our Ridge fan Wyke calls it remarkable. The day before graduation, we found one of Butler University's most determined seniors. Happily, hello, 309. And enthusiastically, 502. Working at a Southside convenience store. I think a lot of people look at my story and they're like, oh, this is a crazy thing. I can't believe you did this. But this is also just what I had to do in order to live. Four years ago, Madeline Smith was 17, graduating high school, pregnant and at a crossroads. I could work, do what my mom did, work 12-hour days, hopefully make rent. Or I could go to college and hopefully make a better life for myself. Madeline bravely chose college. The freshman became mom. Arabelle arrived during the university's winter break. Mom was at her desk when classes resumed just 10 days later. I don't remember sleeping at all. I don't even know how I turned in my assignments, to be honest with you. A lot of it was a blur um, because newborns, they just take up so much time and then so does college. Madeline was a full-time mom, a full-time student, working part-time and exhausted all the time. There are several nights where I cried and you just have to let it out and keep going. She became my motivation every single day when I woke up, just seeing her face, seeing her happy, and knowing that I was providing for her and helping her, especially in the future, that's what made it all worth it. Hello. Instead of parties and homecomings, Madeline was working, or at home, raising Arabelle and studying. I think I became a better mother because of this experience. And perhaps a better student. Graduating in just four years, most Indiana students need five. The determination and that pushing yourself as far as you can can get you where you want to be. And like, this is what I want. This is what I wanted for four years. So I got there. With Arabelle at her side. Madeline said she will never wow. be so happy to get a handshake and a piece of paper as she <laughs> would. I you bet. Know, I <laughs> bet. She really is an inspiration. So what is next for Madeline? I think a party. A party, one. yes, I yes, think, yes. I think a party, number one. <laughs> Number two, she's been beginning to look for another job. Mm -hmm. She's got some applications out. Mm -hmm. She wants to stay in the hospitality industry. Mm -hmm. As we saw today there at Casey's Convenience Store, she was walking away she from the interview with right? yeah. people. Right. She's very good with very people. Yeah. Yeah. She's got a lot to celebrate on this Mother's Day weekend. Uh, who wouldn't? Yeah. I mean, just getting through college in four years is an achievement. Yeah. And yeah. to do that with a newborn, yeah. she's a tough cookie. Good yeah, for yeah. her. We're inspired by her. Thanks, Thanks so Rich. much, Rich.